Welcome you YouTube, you you should welcome you YouTube guitar. I welcome you YouTube guitar people. Today we're looking at the first tone fox. Is this a tone fox? No, it's not. Can't you read? It's a tone fox. Are you stupid? So here's what happens. Tone fox guitars are all super mega handmade by Uwe Schölsch and his tiny little team of Uwe Schölsch and some other dude. And they are ultra high-end instruments, starting at like three grand, going up to, I don't know, seven, whatever, depending on what kind of crazy shit you want. And there are, without a doubt, some of the finest instruments you will ever play. Ask me, ask many of my YouTube friends that have played them at Gear Street in this very room. Uh, that is not true. He wasn't in at Gear Street 2. The loser. Uwe, you're a loser. Um, so... Custom instruments, each one is unique. Uh, he's got this chalice, he's got his bulldog, which is his offset, and then his diner, which is a double cut, all that. Now, Uwe came to a friend who had a batch of very high-end, thin-line, empty telebodies from Korea. And he was very impressed by them. Not all of them, but he's like, okay, I, in each color, I can find a couple that are like stunning. We need to do something with that. And so he came up with the idea of doing, let's call it a parts caster, but it really isn't, of sourcing materials that are up to his ridiculously high demands. He is one of those German guitar luthier snob men. Uh, nothing is good enough for him. So if he says this is good enough, then you bet your sweet ass that it's good enough. So the body on this Tone Fox, which is a division of Tone Fox, still kind of handmade. We're going to get to that. But he buys some of the parts and doesn't carve them with his feet, which he usually does. So we have this body. I got my cheat sheet here, which is from Korea. It's custom made alder chambered double cream binding. So if we look at the binding, it's cream and it's double. I don't know. So there you go. That's the body. Super light, of course, clocking in at, I think, 2.8 kilo. I I did wait. Um, the neck is from Atlantia, Japan, which apparently is a company also delivering necks for the higher grade Fender guitars. So, hmm, if it's good enough for them. Uh, so the neck is a rock maple neck, East Indian rosewood fretboard, uh, 14 inch radius, 22 medium jumbo frets. Now, he doesn't go and just get the necks from Atlantia. He goes to someone who stocks Atlantia necks and picks them. And he said, well, one out of 10 is up to my specs. So again, someone who really knows their shit picks the necks. They have different headstocks. He then shapes the headstock by hand to have this, whether you like it or not, Tone Fox, Tone Fox headstock. Uh, we have Alpha Pots three-way switch. My first impression was this switch is too close to this pot and you can't get behind it with your finger and that's annoying. However, in playing, I found out that I'm not getting behind it. I'm playing, 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 and I'm actually flipping it up from coming underneath like, like this. And then it actually isn't the problem at all. I wanted to bitch about that hard, but I can't because it's okay. We have clues and style semi-locking tuners. I don't know what that means. What is semi-locking? What the? But there's also, ah, they seem to have two different holes. And uh, uh, one might be locking, one might be non-locking. I don't know, but it says semi-locking clues and style. Okay, fine. Uh, a steel bridge T-style with brass saddles, three-ply, okay. Um, and that's, of course, is that bridge, which I think is a standard tally bridge, which he saws off to make shorter and then, of course, custom ages it. Also, the bodies come in a high gloss and he kind of really, you know, takes the paint down to be this kind of worn, there we go, thank you, Leslie, this worn kind of more flat. I'm not a fan of high gloss black guitars in any way, but this really does it for me. Uh, three-ply thin line pickguard which he also stains and ages the white ply. Uh, security lock pins. Nut is vintage bone, which he does by himself. So right there is the nut, which is vintage bone. 
finish is Fader Black Battery Battered Nickel Hardware. You can also see that on the little Tone Fox back there. That's definitely battered and bruised. It, it just feels worn in without being super aged. The pickups are Ray Gerold Coils Custom P90 Hand Wound Pickups. Fehlt noch was, sagt er. Nee, Uwe, alles gut. Hammer. Wir haben alles, alles, ist alles gecovered. Ich mach jetzt weiter. Jetzt, mach mal locker. Sorry, talking to the Luthier. This is one of the finest Luthiers you will find on the planet. Who sources the neck, sources the body, and then does his thing. He does all the leveling. He does the uh, fret edges, which feel so nice. He does the nut. He does all the install. Custom wound German hand wound pickups. He does the aging. So other than actually shaping the body and shaping the neck, this is a tone fox. Comes in this tweed case, which of course he doesn't make by hand, but nice that it comes in a case. I'm not a fan of black guitars, and the deal was, he sends this to me, I make a video, I send it back, and I get nothing for it. I think, uh, no, he's working on a guitar for me, I think. I don't know. He doesn't tell me things. So that was the deal. However, I got this out of the case, and I was like, ah, oh, black, really? And I played it for five minutes, and I called him up, said, Uwe, if I do the video, how much do you want from me on top of it in terms of cash so that I can keep it. Because I don't buy guitars anymore, full disclosure. I don't. I get them from companies and they either leave them here or pay me or whatever. There's always deals. I would have full on bought this guitar. It is something that I don't have. It is so phenomenally good. I would have forked over cash. And then we found a deal where for the rest of the year, I have to do any video that Uwe wants from me. So I am his little bitch now. But that's fine because I have the Elcaster because that is what this thing is called. Elcaster prototype, um, the first one. And uh, I, I won't let it go because, oh my God, you're going to hear. So uh, the deal is hand selected bodies and necks, fret job, leveling, dressing, edges, fretboard edges, polishing, he does, vintage bone nut, customizing the headstock, fine sanding, staining in honey amber uh, finish, uh, thin nitro finish, uh, the body the, the body has no routing whatsoever, so he does all the routing, routing pickups and electronic like cavities, turning uh, the high gloss lacquer into a faded finish, aging the hardware, turning tele bridges into chopped half bridges, weathering the pickguard outlines of the white layer, satin finish, pickguard and pickup covers, soldering the electronics, Assembling, setup, and fine tuning water slide decals. You can get this guitar with the case for $16.99 in a hyper limited run of 10. So, this one plus 10, you can pre order on Reverb. I'll put the appropriate links below. This is the Tone Fuchs, a division of Tone Fuchs, L Caster, hollow body P90 guitar. The one thing that it does is it always has a little bit of grit. It doesn't go, if you dig in, super clean. If you pull back a bit, it does. And oh lordy, the sounds. I was never into hollow body guitars, especially Telly Thin Line, what's the idea? Listen now, ladies and gentlemen, into the Rev Dynamis with the Captor X and a 412 Freeberg loaded cap. Reverb's coming from the Dynamis. Three positions, here we go. We start in the neck. That's the Elcaster from Tone Fox. Nice, round, thick. But you dig in. And there's some grizzle. And that is not the amp. That is the guitar. Trust me.
if I could play guitar, it would sound so damn good. Just imagine it sounds really, really good, okay? Imagine I'm a good guitar player. So that's nice and round. You don't have the super spank, but super spank. I'm just doing crap things. Into the Fender Deluxe Reverb, which has more sparkle, and here we go. Pull back a bit to get it really clean. go into the Achilles Argos JTM that's a pair I'm pulling back to get it cleaner and then a dig in to get the evil fuzziness out <laughs> Ref 740, the green thing on the crunch channel and... <laughs> Ref 100p because why not? <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, and that works. And of course, why would we go high again with the Engel Fireball 25? Because we can! <laughs> Back to the Dynamis, back to E. Okay, we're gonna put some reverb on. I'm stuck. I would say that uh, low gain is where this thing is at home, but that's wrong. You could hear high gain, I don't know why, but extremely well, but high gain leads is ridiculous. That in-between position, this is very round and rounded off, maybe a little bit too much, but in the in-between position, there's this chuck, 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 chuck on the pick attack, which is to die for. Let's find out. <laughs> If I played this in a shop, in the custom shop section, and if the price tag would 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 say, if the price tag would say, uh, Sean Connery would say, if the price tag would say, three thousand euro. <clears throat> if the price tag said three thousand euro, next to a Fender custom shop and whatever cool customy boutique guitars you have, I would 
not flinch. I would say, yeah, of course, obviously. If I didn't know what Tone Fox was in the division of Tone Fox and that this is a Korea part and this is a Japan part, if I didn't know this, there's no doubt in my mind that I would walk out with this beauty. No doubt in my mind. Seriously, because what Uwe's doing, the details and the attention to detail of what he's putting in this guitar makes it such an amazing player. Like, I can't put it down. It's, it's the guitar right next to me in my studio right now. Whenever I have five minutes, literally, I play five minutes on guitar a day other than in the videos. Um, I put on uh, Tom James from Elevated Jam Tracks and then noodle with this. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, the tones. And, and everything is so in the fingers and you hear it and the detail and the string wiriness, uh, that hollow bodiness brings that out. This is worth quite a bit more. You will not in any way get these parts, hand-wound pickups, and that attention to detail, which literally is custom shop level, like Fender custom shop level, um, from a guitar, from another brand for $16.99, including tweed case. You won't. And there will be 10 of these in black, available probably now. I'll put links below. This is mine. Piss off, you can't have it. I never had something like this, now I do, and it's my first and only black guitar. And again, anyone who wants it, buy one, you can't have mine, not gonna happen. Thank you, Uwe. I am now your little slave for the rest of the year, that's the deal, but I'll happily accept it for my own Elcaster. Elcaster by Tone Fox, links below. You've been amazing. I don't know, you, you might have been a total asshole. I, you could have been sitting there saying, look at that bald idiot. I don't know. Why am I saying you're amazing? I don't know. And it was at the end. Sure.